What is contemporary art? It is artwork that is created by today's artist and has a world view. Contemporary art is sensitive to the changing times. It can be about a cause or a struggle. Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat has been an artist his whole life. In fact, when he was age six, he became a junior member of the Brooklyn Art Museum. But his life changed when he was hit by a car at age eight while he was playing in the street. He began to draw while he was recovering from books his mother gave him. A lot of John Michel's artwork includes crowns because he believes he is a poet, musician, artist, and a boxing champion. When Jean-Michel was about 17 or 18 years old, he became homeless. He painted on cardboard instead of canvas, and he became a very popular graffiti artist. That is how he was discovered. He went on to become very, very popular in the 1980s. He produced a rap album, he dated Madonna, and he earned lots and lots of money, which he spent foolishly. Jeff Koons. Jeff Koons created huge works of art that look like balloon animals or items made out of balloons. This is his balloon animal dog and his bouquet of tulips. His artwork created controversy because he doesn't actually do the work. He instructs other people what to build and what to paint. Another sculpture by Jeff Koons is this one of Michael Jackson and Bubbles. Jeff Koons was also involved with controversy over Snapchat. He was sending pictures of his work, but he was also using Snapchat filters to send the pictures. His critics said that it wasn't reality. Chuck Close. Chuck Close is an artist who is very famous for his ginormous portrait drawings. When Chuck Close was a child, he was big and clumsy, not very athletic, and he was dyslexic. Then, the year he was 11, he was sick with a kidney infection. His father died. His mother was diagnosed with cancer. They lost their home. His grandmother was sick with Parkinson's disease. And one thing helped him cope his art. Chuck Close actually has two very different art careers. At age 49, a blood clot in his spine caused him to become a quadriplegic. He thought his art career, career was over, but through therapy, he got back some use of his arms. He figured out how to strap a paintbrush into his hand by using a brace. He changed his style and he kept making art. Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist that uses her signature polka dots in all of her sculpture and installation art. But she also works in film and in fashion. Installation art is where an artist installs pieces of sculpture and the viewer can interact with the pieces. Yayoi Kusama has suffered from mental illness ever since she was a child. Her artwork is the visions that she has brought to life. She says that art has helped her keep her sanity. Keith Herring. Keith Herring began his art career by drawing characters on subway walls. He created these simple designs with just use of line because he had to complete his pictures quickly. If he waited too long, he would get caught and then he would be arrested. He ended up creating characters such as Radiant Baby and Barking Dog. Keith Herring was not only an artist, he was an activist too. 
He created artwork against racism and artwork against drug addiction. He also promoted protecting the environment and he even painted about taking down the Berlin Wall. Takashi Murakami. Takashi Murakami is a Japanese artist that works in the fine arts and in the commercial media. He was known for blurring the lines between high-end art that belonged in a museum or low-end art that you could purchase cheaply in a store. Takashi Murakami has also worked in Japanese movies and he has his own art studio called The Factory in Japan where he plans the pictures but other people paint them in. Kara Walker. Kara Walker is a painter and an installation artist and a filmmaker, but she mainly specializes in silhouette art, where she creates figures out of black paper and puts them on a white background. Kara Walker is also an activist. She creates her silhouettes with the black paper and white walls to make statements about race, gender, and violence. Helen Frankenthaler. Helen Frankenthaler has exhibited artwork for over 60 years in some of the best galleries and museums. In fact, she had the first one woman art show. Helen Frankenthaler has always produced abstract art. She says that she cannot help it if the viewer doesn't like her work because she knows it's good. And she also thinks that if you are feeling what you're doing is crazy, you should do it anyway. It might end up surprising you. You are gonna need a piece of paper, pencil and eraser, and probably markers today. What type of art would you make if you were Jean-Michel Basquiat? What kind of balloon animals would you create if you were Jeff Koons? Whose portrait would you make if you were Chuck Close? What would you cover with polka dots if you were Yayoi Kusama? How fast would you be able to create these subway characters if you were Keith Haring? What type of smiley face characters would you make if you were Takashi Murakama? What silhouette would you create if you were Kara Walker? How would you make an abstract painting if you were Helen Frankenthaler?